Hello, now for this video blog I'm doing something a little bit different. I am at Bilsterberg Circuit in Germany, which is I think about an hour east of Dortmund, there or thereabouts, it's in the middle of the countryside. It's a circuit I have longed to have a go on ever since I first heard about it. If you don't know about Bilsterberg, it is one of those driver resort type places and it's built on the site of an old NATO munitions dump built by the British Army. And the circuit was built from scratch, designed by that bloke Herman Tilke, whose rather tedious Formula One circuits you probably know and perhaps don't love very much. But don't worry, for Bilsterberg he had some friend from a mate, that mate being Walter Röhl. So as a result, Bilsterberg feels a bit like the Nürburgring. It's got lots of blind crests, not much runoff. It is, so I'm told by everybody who has driven it, a real grown-up circuit with some very, very scary moments on it. Now then, I'm here for the first time, I've never driven it, I've never even looked at a lap on a video, so I have no idea where the circuit goes. And for this first outing, it would of course be nice to drive something suitably inspirational, something really, really fast and focused. Something like a smart Brabus. <laughs> okay, yes, this is my chariot for my first ever lap of Bilsberg. It's a smart Brabus 4.4. It's got a mighty 109 horsepower. It is rear-engined. So there's hope yet. It's got some very skinny tyres, it's got some Brabus bits on it. I am, of course, driving the circuit completely blind. I have no idea whatsoever where it goes. This could only end well, couldn't it? But now, usually on these things, I try and at least do some research beforehand and get an idea of which way the circuit's going, watch some onboards. We've just come out of the pits, we're going up a steep hill, the smart seems to be going backwards. And now we have a right-hander going into a blind left-hander. Now, a lot has been said about how grown up this track is. Bit of a feel of the Nürburgring about it. I'm getting that straight away. It's definitely not like any other Tilka track. Right, which way is it going now? Uh, blind crest. Everyone's going over to the left. I'm going to go right. Yes, that was right. Oh, bit of understeer there. I took it over to the curb. Right, now we have another blind crest, which is going, I think, to the right. And beyond that, another blind crest. You spotting a theme here. Right, everyone's taking curb to the left, so I'm going to go to that side. I'm going to guess it goes right. And it does, it goes right, good, right. Some curbing on the left. I think we're going on the right side, I think we're going down to the left. Right, we've got a blind crest. What happens here? Uh, oh, nothing, right, no, another blind crest. Right, what happens around here? Everyone's brake lights are on. Why are the brake lights on? Why are the brake lights on? Right, oh, oh, <laughs> right, okay, that's why the brake lights are on. That is a very steep drop. Felt like we were dropping off the end of the world there. Right, another blind crest, spotting the theme. Where do we go now? Uh, everyone's going to the left. Okay, that's the left turn. Everyone's going to the right. I think that's going to be a left turn. I've no idea which way it's going. Okay, right, so we've got a little chicane thing coming up into what? Another blind crest over which I have no idea what happens. And the answer is, it's a straight, a straight. Right, we haven't had many of those so far, so let's enjoy this. So here we are bimbling around in a smart. Uh, we should all good fun, but I, God knows what this is like in a quick car. It's going to take some learning, I think. Um, right, what have we got coming up? We have got, I think, a left-hander. It's got some runoff on it. That's either a good thing, or it means it's a really fast corner. I'm going to go with it being a really fast corner. Oh, blimey, there we go. Dab of oppo in a smart. Who'd have thought it? Right, now what? Uh, a blind crest, but I can see the track goes up beyond that into a kind of sweeping left-hander. I'm going to go down a gear. I'm going to take this curve. Here, yeah, there's brake lights going on. We've got a cheeky little right-hander here into... A kind of rising left. I'm going to take it out to the right there and I'm going to work on the basis there's going to be an apex there and there is. Oh, I nailed it. Yeah, it's not bad for a first time. There we go. Bit of curb to the right and now we've got all the uh, concrete buildings. This means we must be back at the start. So there you go. There is your first timer's lap of Bilsterberg. Look, how was it? Well, in the smart, it was kind of top heavy, mainly understeery and quite scary in places. There are some very grown up corners around there that uh, I think you call it the mouse trap, the one where it just drops away from you. Absolutely incredible. Definitely a feel of the Nürburgring there. Uh, is this the car to be doing it in? Mm, probably not, but you know, it was a bit of fun all the same and I did enjoy it. You can't switch off the ESP in this, despite it being rear engine, rear wheel drive. So no heroic oversteer, although I did manage one very small dab of oppo which you may have seen quite impressed with myself for that you can defeat the electronics after all physics can take over so there we are that is my idiot's guide to Bilsterberg idiot being the operative word I hope I can return here sometime soon in something a little bit more appropriate